Hi loves, welcome back to my second process video in my December daily. Um, if you haven't seen my prep video or my last update on my project, uh, not project life, December daily video, be sure to, to check those out. Um, I will link that down below or in the eye up in the corner. So let's jump right in. I will be doing a couple of things today. I'm jumping back and forth doing stuff that I think are easy and quick to do and uh, placing chipboard elements that I have um, pre-placed in a couple of pockets. So uh, let's start with day two. I have done a lot of journaling on that card and I wanted to keep the rest really simple. So I decided to just emboss the two with some gold um, embossing powder and I can tell you I've rather just left it as it was. I hate embossing, it just doesn't work for me. As you can see um, I cut some missing spots, it's all bubbly and I messed up the table really really with a lot of those um, uh, well, with, with the powder and I just hate it. But at the end I like how the shoe turns out. I will be fixing those missing spots with some um, snow sequence and uh, be placing that on a wood veneer that came with the Ellie Edwards kit. And I think page two or day two turns out quite nice. Um, but I would have liked just to leave it without those sequence pieces, but I just didn't like how it was missing those uh, two spots. So yeah, whatever. Maybe I have to practice a little bit more and do better next time. I have some more numbers that I was planning on embossing, but I'm not sure if I will because I just hate if something doesn't work out the way I have planned. Um, but I have to see how I will tackle that. So as you can see, I'm uh, pulling out some Felicity Jane sequins or snow sequins that came in the Holly kit. Really like those. I'm not sure if they're a really good opportunity or not opportunity. Um, um, I say option when it comes on shaker pockets. So I will probably be placing a couple of those on pictures or whatever and try to uh, use them throughout the album. So I think that's for day two. I'm not sure, maybe I will come back and do some more uh, decorating, but I keep it pretty, um, how you say, or how would you say that? I wanted to look at the project as a whole, so maybe I would go back and add some more stickers or whatever. I started doing my embellishments or placing my embellishments, but like the end touches, I probably would do at the end still. So um, as you can see, we are at day 14. I took a lot of pictures, but I didn't want to do too much to them and I just decided to use that chipboard element. I took off some layers so it's not too bulky and then I just layered another um, cork uh, tree that came with the kit and also a smaller circle chipboard embellishment. And then I am working on my 2x2 two two pocket pages I have. Not sure how many I have in the album but I really enjoy using them and um, adding sequins and different shapes and, and stuff into the pockets. So this is probably one of my favorite pages so far. Day 21, I decided to print uh, pictures two by four that they would actually still fit in those pockets and just hang over them. And I like how this turned out. I shared this on my um, Instagram account already. You guys liked it as well. So I will be doing something to that, but at first I'm still uh, flipping through the album to see which parts I can finish quickly and um, for me it's all in doing quick and simple things I don't have too much time I uh, work I have my baby girl I have lots to do at home and so I, I don't have that much time as I used to have and it's for me all about getting stuff quickly together and still making it look nice and I just like how this turns out so um, just as I said, I print my photos, then I place like cards, then I go back and every time I have a little bit of time, I just go and place uh, embellishment or look for chipboard pieces that I want to place somewhere. So it's like an, a constant work in process, progress uh, or process, I'm not sure. <laughs> and um, 
I'm always going back and forth and adding something new and I'm doing my journaling and whatever, but that's how it works for me and I like how pages turn out. That's the way I actually work in my uh, project life as well and I really like how those pages are turning out. So on this uh, picture I actually thought of placing a star because I wasn't able to fit the whole tree on one picture. Um, I decided to cut or uh, cut off the top of it and just stick a star instead of that and I like how that turned out. In the back side I just um, also used a 6x8 paper that came in the kit and just used two of my favorite pictures from the 24th and then uh, documented together and magic because yeah this is the first Christmas without my grandma and uh, I don't know I just realized that on that evening and uh, I wanted to take a picture of um, us and uh, my grandpa at that day I'm not sure if he will be there next year and documenting things like that means the world to me and this is why I love Project Life or December Daily or whatever projects out there and um, it's really nice always flipping through those um, when I was let me see maybe like in the beginnings of my 20s I took a lot of pictures but most of them I've never looked at again because they're just on my phone or my computer or something and yeah pictures just go forgotten and that's not happening to me anymore since I'm doing this project and I'm really happy about that. So I'm continuing placing the chipboard pieces that I added to the pockets uh, a couple of days ago and sometimes I take some layers off, sometimes I'm not. Um, I noticed that the album is quite chunky uh, towards the binding but the outer parts of it aren't that much so whenever um, I place a chipboard element inside or close to the binding I take layers off and then if I place anything uh, towards the outside of the album I just leave it on top of it or just leave it as it is so it's more uh, balanced out and um, yeah, as you can see, I am already up to day 27. I printed pictures for day 28, but I'm not sure what I want to do that. I was thinking about using one of those fun cut files that I um, saw at, um, I believe, Amy Gretchen or some other ones here on YouTube. Um, I just love how these cut files look, but I'm not one of those persons that actually have like the patience to do that and fill it up with pattern paper and stuff. So I have to see how that will work out. I was thinking about maybe um, cutting out an, an star shape or something and doing my journaling around that. I like how those pages look and just fill it up with some pattern paper in the middle. That could be something I could actually manage to do. Um, yeah, I, I will just be placing some more elements, doing some more shaker pockets and yeah, letting you be part of my process. Um, the real big pages that are still coming up, maybe I will do those day per day, I'm not sure yet, just depending on how much time I have and I will do my best to do a process video for that as well. I hope you guys liked and enjoyed the video, stay tuned for the rest of the process and some uh, pictures at the end and I hope to see you soon, bye bye!